Welcome, Wildcats. I hope you're highly motivated. I hope you're highly dedicated. I hope you're highly caffeinated, hardcore, and ready to roll. We're going to make some coasters. Now, uh, for some reason, in my um, screen recording, it's not capturing my drop-down menus, which is going to make this a little bit more challenging. But if I didn't think you were up for it, we wouldn't be doing it. Don't forget who you are. You are the Wildcats. The first thing I did a moment ago is I went into the Google and I was searching for an image that would be um, that I could put on my coasters. And I thought, what could I put on my coasters that would be amazing? The Vikings, of course. So I selected a Viking image. And when I was looking for that image, I typed in Viking clip art. Whatever you're searching, if you're searching for, uh, you know, Nike, uh, Burton snowboards, whatever it is, Put clip art after your search, and it seems like you get better, um, cleaner uh, selections. So I picked one that was really simple, straightforward, nice, clean, straight lines, and I encourage you to do the same thing. So I right mouse clicked, I hit copy image, and now I'm going to just simply paste that image into my document. You can't see my drop down menu, but it's there, and I'm just going to hit paste and there's my Viking that's my Viking and if you look up I'll select it and there's a little handle in the middle there I'm gonna grab that handle and move it to the center of the page so it's a little easier to see I like it to be on my um, grid here now the problem with this image is it's a picture and pictures are pixelated and the laser engraver does not like pixelation so let's change that if uh, you hit the Alt key and the T, it will trace the image. Or you can go over here to the Tools window and select Tools. And all the way bottom, down at that drop-down menu will be something that says Trace. And you can select that. So I'm going to hit the Alt and the T button. And then a window will pop up, and it's got my Viking. You can't see it, but I'm looking at it. And the Viking is traced in pink or fuchsia. And it looks great. So I'm going to hit the OK button, and there it is. There's actually two images here. One is the picture that we downloaded and pasted in there, and one is the traced image. So I don't need my picture anymore. See us, Sven. We'll get rid of him. So we've got our Viking. Now we need our circle for the coaster. And if you look over here on the left side of the page, there's a circle icon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select that circle icon, and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to click and drag a circle onto the page. It doesn't have to be perfect. I love it. It looks great. Now I want this circle to be exactly 4 inches in height and width. And if you come up here to the top of the page, there's two windows that say height and width. I'm going to erase that. I'm going to put a 4 in there. I'm going to drop down to the height with a little window and I'm going to put a 4 in there and I'm going to hit the enter key. Now my circle is a perfect 4 inches. As long as this little padlock is unlocked you should be able to do that. So I've got a perfect 4 inch circle. I've got a giant viking. So let's drag a box around the Viking. Uh-oh, I still have the circle icon selected. So I'm going to hit the delete button, or you can hit control Z. Either one of those will eliminate that circle. So I hit the delete. And I'm going to go back up here to my arrow icon. I'm going to select that. We're doing great. We're doing so good. I'm kind of excited to see what you guys choose, what you select. I'm going to drag a box all the way around my Viking. Let's click on it and select it. Now, if you grab any one of these corner handles, you can collapse the Viking, make it smaller, and you notice that I can flip it back and forth. I'm going to try that. I kind of like that better, maybe. I'm going to put it on my coaster. Still a little bit large. I'm going to roll my mouse. I'm going to zoom in on that so it can be a little more detailed in my selections uh, what do you think of that 
Does that look good? How about that? I love that. I think that looks great. And maybe you think that looks great. Of course, everybody in Minnesota thinks that looks great. But wouldn't it be better with some text on it? So let's do this. Over here on the left, this A represents text. I'm going to click on it. And then when I click on the screen, I can type my text. Of course, I've got it on all bold because we're going to type score. Yeah, you knew that was coming, right? And I want the date also. So I'm going to type 2023. Great. Now, if I click again, it's going to want to do some more text. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to select my arrow. Now, check this out. You're absolutely going to love this feature. Ooh, that fits perfect right in there. You're going to love this feature. I'm telling you. If you choose one of these rocker panels, see how that, that, do you see that little rocker panel on the side? See the little double arrow? If you grab that, you can change the angle of your skull. I'm going to bring it down and put it just above his helmet. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is absolutely going to blow your mind. This little blue dot on the skull, select that. And then you can rock that thing back and forth just like that, almost following, it creates an arc, almost following the curvature of his helmet. It just looks like it's supposed to be there. I love that. And I think you will too. Uh, it looks great. I think I'm ready to go. Now, here's the problem. The circle, we want that circle to burn all the way through the material. And everything on the inside of the circle we want engraved. So I'm gonna just, oh, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag a box around everything inside the circle, being careful not to select the circle. Now, if you look up here, inside this window, um, it says line. We're gonna change that to fill. And then these speeds are not right. If we do this at that speed, it will go all the way through our coaster. Not, not what we want. So let's go down here, and we're going to change the speed. I'm going to change the speed to 300. And then I'm going to change the power to 35 in both of these windows. Yep, there we go. They're both 35. Our speed is 300. That's perfect. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's select our circle. And you'll notice that it's shimmery. It's dotted lines. It looks, let's change the color just so we can keep them straight. I'm going to select red for that one. And you notice that as soon as we selected the red, it gave us another window up here. This one we want to change to line because we want it to burn all the way through. And then we're going to go back and we're going to change those power settings. This one's going to be 15. We'll make that 15. We're going to slow that laser way down. And now we're going to bump the speeds way up, or the uh, power, I'm sorry. So we'll make that one 70. We'll make this one 70. Great, there it is. Now we're ready. The only problem is, I like to drink four beverages at once. If you're going to make a set of coasters, you might as well have more than one, right? So let's do this. I'm going to draw a box around. This is fantastic. Watch. This is this is made for me. This is made for dummies. It's perfect for me. Check out this. Over here is a little waffle. I'm going to select that waffle. And we can, in the X column, let's change that to a 2. And then in the Y column, Let's change that to a 2. I'm sorry, Y row. I'm going to hit OK. You can't see that, but when, when you hit that little waffle, a menu will pop up, and it says X. Next to the X, you're going to put a 2. You're going to change it from a 1 to a 2. And then the Y row, you're going to change that from a 1 to a 2. And I'm going to hit the OK button. Look what it did. Look at that. Easy. Too easy. We're spoiled, aren't we, Wildcats? I'm going to draw... Uh, big box around all four of these. If you notice over here, there's a little green square. That's where the laser wants to start. So let's make it easy on that. We're just going to get close to that. We're going to drop it in there. It's fantastic. We'll start it right there. And we're ready to turn and burn. 
Now, it, uh, if you come over to the send button, it won't send if the laser is not on. So make sure you turn the key on the laser to the on position, and then make sure you turn the power strip with all the stuff plugged into it. That little toggle switch also needs to be on, and the filter on the far left-hand side needs to be on. Those three, three things need to be on for you to send it. Once you've done that, hit the send button. Oh, mine won't work because I'm not hooked to the laser. Once you've done that, you're ready to get the laser set up. Congratulations, Wildcats. Good job. Good luck.